we're still streaming. Hi, stream. <laughs> um, Hi, stream. So here we are at nine. We're so close. We've been going 11 hours. We're almost halfway done. <laughs> Yay. Thank Christ. I can go to bed. Um, <laughs> I did. I did. Trying to somehow work Temerity in. I was like, is she alive? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we don't really know what the score is with uh, Tildir and Temerity and, and stuff like that. Well, those two, really. Because we mean, know that. Um, you know, Steve's dead. We know Steve's dead. We know Rhaegar, whatever his name is, is dead. Ravar. Uh, Wait, was there another Steve? No. Well, the original no, Steve, remember? You were with Temerity. <laughs> I mean, you started with Temerity. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is getting a little metaphysical. I mean, like, is. Is is Steve's body Steve or is like Steve Steve? Oh, this I mean, is very much a chicken and the egg. Right. No, I mean you're Steve. Steve's soul. Right. So Steve is well is 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 all well and good. Yeah. Well he died like fourteen times and Well right, but his soul yeah, Exactly. Like, he got snatched of the sky. He died and he said, There's nothing. <laughs> I haven't checked my Twitter out in there a lot of time. Um That's I forgot that uh, Bajaya switched her picture to someone else, and I'm like, who the fuck is this hot chick he tweeting at me? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's an actress. <laughs> All right, and then I run away for one second. And then okay. Okay. I think I need to stretch my legs a little bit, keep, <laughs> keep moving. You're doing great, Tim. I'm going to get an apple. It's apple time. Oh, I should open a bottle of wine. And... Oof. Should open a bottle of wine. Do it, Bachman. Open that wine. Drink it. Drink it all. No, Is it gonna, Christmas wine? I'm going to keep like, shouting into the internet. I should open a bottle of wine. <laughs> red, red wine. Get it. Okay, I'm going to go do it. Be right back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can't see the chat. I don't know where it is. Christmas wine is um, is literally a wine. Do we have it? No, we, we gave it away now. Um, it's wine that has Santa Claus on it, and it ha it's like spiced wine that's from a store that's near Bachman. And he, we've given it out at a few Geekly Cons for, uh, I think, the God of Tits and Wine Award, but Bachman also has it in his home sometimes. Oh, the Melee. The Melee, sorry, not the God of Tits and Wine. The Melee, you get the Christmas wine. But no one opens it. It's got to age for at least 50 years. Wait. Okay, we jumped up to 5300 now. 5305 dollars. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, give me that old one. I feel like I'm all boozed out, man. I've had a lot of booze the past few days. Too much booze? Too much booze. Like, yeah, work conference booze. Uh-oh. That's, yeah. that's Saratoga booze. <laughs> Saratoga booze. That haunted booze. <laughs> Whenever you were talking about that and you were like, oh yeah, we lived on the servants' quarters, I started Googling and there were like four, or the fifth floor has the most hauntings. I was like, please be exactly on the Exactly where floor. I was. It's fucked up. Man. Yeah, my room was so creepy too. It was like huge. Was it? Yeah, it was giant. I like walked in and I was like, did they mess up? Is this for me? I'm confused. I had like a whole seating area. I went to a, a conference in Buffalo mm -hmm. where my hotel room was like, well, Buffalo in general is can be fairly empty, mm -hmm. um, which is spooky on its own. Yeah. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, it was it was very like sleep with the lights on kind of yeah kind of thing. I don't know what was it what what it was about it. Uh, it was just I like, don't like it when the room is so big is that I like can't see everything. And and that was yeah. like, I had a really bad nightmare, and so I like, woke up and I was just like, <laughs> someone's in my room. Ugh. But they were and unfortunately I survived and I'm still here. So <laughs> oh well. Next time. <laughs> Damn it! Next time I'll get murdered by a ghost. They, but the ghost haunted my phone, unfortunately. Ah. Oh, and it keeps God. fucking up. This is the worst kind. Uh, Granny Smith Fossaway will probably gonna do a Kickstarter for Potter Pod Four. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I think. If we if we want another season, then sure. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm back. Oh, yeah, that about was loud in my ear. Sorry. Yo. Oh, it's so hot in our house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Open the window. Oh. I think it is open. It's just hot outside, too. Oh, man. Should we turn the light back on in the kitchen? It the is light fucking so cold here. And it really? Is shit. It, it is it like raining there? degrees and nonstop raining for the past yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, it's supposed to get cold again tomorrow here, I think. Yeah, it's been constant rain here, too. Uh, oh, War twelve forty four. Um, I go for uh, French fries and macaroni salad with the cheeseburgers, and then the works on top. What is this? What are you saying to me? Okay, I see garbage plate. Can you explain me what that means? What what is? Uh, it it is what it sounds like. <laughs> But like, is it like a thing like in restaurants or like? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's like a Rochester thing where okay, I don't know. It's like the, it is literally the worst thing you can eat. Um, <laughs> but like at four in the morning when you're really drunk, it's great. And it's uh, they, it's you start with like hash browns or French fries or some sort of potatoy thing, and then macaroni salad usually. Like on top of it. Yeah. Or like all, next to each point. other. Okay, okay. This big thing. And then on top of that, you throw like either like two hot dogs or two cheeseburgers without a bun or anything, and then you cover it with like ketchup and onions and, that great. and what they call hot sauce, but it's like this kind of spicy meat sauce they throw on it. It's I, I gotta say I would absolutely eat that, like no question. Yeah, I mean you should eat it once <laughs> and then never again. <laughs> mm. They give you like, and it's always disgustingly huge. Um, yes, I live. Well, I live close to Rochester. Cool sounding me. Cool sounding me. Everyone's screaming downstairs. I don't know what's going on. At least they're not moving outside still. That was terrible this morning. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'll be right back. So it sounded like someone was just like dragging something metal down the metal stairs <laughs> in our alleyway. Just like scraping like. <sighs> I'm going to kill everybody. So you guys are saying it's hot there? I heard it was really hot in West Virginia today. <laughs> Where'd you hear that from? Uh-huh. Who are you talking we talked, about? We in? talked about that for like a good ten minutes. Did you really? <laughs> That's funny. Right at the this. beginning. Yeah. You gotta talk about the weather when you meet people that are famous. He was so nice. Justin McElroy, the guy we talked to for so long, our best friend. Yeah, he's extremely nice. Uh -huh. I wish Addie would stop looking at the shops back there. Gross Remember out. when he made it sound like it wasn't a big deal that he had a TV show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he made he applied it to uh, YouTube. That's funny. Yeah, it's like oh, yeah, it's like having a YouTube video. Like okay, okay. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I get, I get it. I guess in one sense because it's on CISO, it's, it's not like on like it's an internet TV thing, but still, yeah. it's still a TV show. Still a big deal. I mean, it had a budget. It clearly yeah, had a budget. exactly. He did joke about spending a, a lot of money on it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, is there um would it be uh would it be possible to add Christmas wine to the list of giveaways? <laughs> it would be you have some. It always is, yeah. I have two separate bottles that I would be willing to yeah, uh, man. Oh send out. Someone... Obviously two winners over twenty one. I want a bottle. <laughs> I will <laughs> I'm a winner. <laughs> so you want to stick them on there somewhere. I don't know how you've been doing those, but I don't Don't's think Bob Ball's gonna come to to GeeklyCon this year, so I don't think the original bottle of Christmas wine is going to make it back. Damn, jeez. Oh, For the melee. Like gross mouth sounds. Stop it, Eddie. Gross back there. You weirdo. Um, should we get this party started? Since... Hell yeah. 
I uh, have to say, I'm already tired, and I, Timmy, I feel bad for you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I kind of don't feel bad for you, because you are going to be waking me up, I'm assuming, shrieking throughout the night, um, because my bedroom is right, is right there. <laughs> I'm going to shriek. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do a, a chat raffle for the Christmas wines. Because that's gravy. Do you want to do that's... one chat and one donor? No, uh, we don't know the ages of donors, so... Oh, that's true. Yeah. Don't I do them. have the Quizich Cup because I had it. I kept it from last time when I won it the first time. Uh, one of them is being done right now. Cool. <laughs> we were thinking about doing uh, the next Quizich Cup at GeeklyCon. Oh, nice. And then Bajaya couldn't claim that the internet was making her ring in late. Yeah, these will be sent with a uh, signature required by somebody over 21 so that so don't be. lie so if you, you, you don't think know. you're going to be sneaky and pull a fast one on old Bachman I know you got to get up pretty oh. early in the morning the raffle's not open yet <laughs> calm down fools I know that you <laughs> teens want to drink that Christmas wine but you got to wait until you're an adult they want a Christmas <laughs> wine so bad that's what every teen wants mm -hmm. I'll bring a I'll bring a since I since it's in driving distance I'll bring like I'll bring some for us to. Let's partake together. To fuck take, up. Let's take shots of Christmas wine. Uh -huh. I dra I dragged Owen in here earlier just to show um, the chat room what a freakish team he is now. I, I heard Tim freaking out about it. But I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it's hilarious. Him. Yeah, he's such a that. he's such a wanna, big little boy. I want to talk to him about anime. <laughs> <laughs> ask him what's good. All right, the ask, raffle's open. Ask for him how real he's now. like in My Hero Academia. I have not watched today's episode yet because he he's he's watching it. So I, I he's too obsessed up. with Persona, so he hasn't oh, watched any of the new from, season. From what I hear, yeah. you can talk to him about all sorts of anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> don't even. Did you guys fucking see there's gonna be a Yuri on Ice movie? What? Yeah, like new content. Like, cause a lot of times anime movies were just like recaps. So this is like like OVAs new. and shit. This is like new new oh, stuff. Shit. And there was like a, I guess like a whole, they did like a whole event to announce it, and they had this whole and like insane like like skit thing. Um, it's very funny. I, I can send links to people like at the like because someone was like because it's Japanese obviously. Someone was like translating it like mm -hmm. while it was happening, and I, like woke up this morning. And I'm like, what is going on? Because like there's movie, there's this like crazy ass like skit that was happening. It was it was a lot. It was it, it uh -huh. made me very happy. Dank. That good shit. All right. Sh shall we? Shall we skate? <laughs> what? That's from Yuri on Ice. Oh my god, what a fake oh anime god. geek. You don't even know are. anything about it. I only it. listen to it in Japanese, so. <laughs> what can we? That's, it, no, they, that song Close is in my English. Eyes. All right, it's fine. It's from the King and the Skater. <laughs> it's like the King and I, but Yu Gi Oh! also. <laughs> uh, all right, what can we do to get you? into an aclu donation right we got christmas now. run coming in how about this we won't give away bachman's second bottle of christmas wine unless we hit what do you say bachman we're at 5300 right now what do you think something 69. with 69 all right is. so 569 <laughs> Nine. We're, wait, six. we're past that. Yeah. yeah. No, 500 <laughs> yeah, 569 flat. Oh, 5690. Five okay wait what okay yeah yeah so it's the 69 right in the middle i like it yeah mm, that's what it's, you want it yeah i mean it or could we or mm, i mean 500 420 is only 100 and like 15 more that's not a lot so no for a christmas wine shipping and handling getting arrested oh. for shipping <laughs> yeah for shipping wine like, where you're not supposed to yeah. Um, yeah make sure your state will allow you to ship wine to it that's the other thing it's internet yeah shit sure. um maybe some the hierarchy like maybe like maybe give me like the first like three people that won, just in case. We'll figure it out. <laughs> just in case somebody gets fucked. Fucked up. Get fucked up. Because I think like yeah, there's like several states you can't you can't do it. Yeah, and I mean if you know if you win and maybe say you're coming to GeeklyCon, I might just bring it with yeah, me. Yeah, you know. we can work yeah, things out. Yeah, what a out. better way to do it. That's so out. much better to do it that way, isn't it? We'll fi we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Yeah, but yeah, the second one will be given away when we, if we get to uh, 5,690 5, in the next hour and 15 minutes or so. Okay. Do we have Audacity open? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's going to happen in this episode, folks, so this should be fun. Nice. Nice. Oh, okay, great. 
Um, okay, everyone ready? I was born ready. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Okay, on go. Three, two, one, go. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. We're recording. <laughs> It's a podcast rap. <laughs> My name's Hug, and I'm a private on. <laughs> he loves dames. <laughs> I love dames, see? Oh, the Viking Bear one. Somebody slipped me a Mickey. <laughs> you want the apple? I did, but then I was like, we're going to start recording, and I'll be like, chomping down an apple. All right. Viking be, Bear one, the... Why no Nice. Nice. Oh my god, we got there. Fuck. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, we're already at five. Who did oh, that? Okay. Nice. Nice job. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's like too much to ask. And then we just fucking did it. <laughs> if there's nice. anything we've learned, ask our audience. Who's gonna they... ask, man? And people will do it. Uh uh, uh, someone gave us to the amount. I'm gonna. He didn't say no. William Orr, thank you so much, thank William you, Orr. You are helping. Yes, you did it for a, a weird reason, but you helped. But overall, a good reason. Yep, you helped uh, America hopefully become better. We never, you never really know. Um, but you helped fund the ability to get Christmas wine, and and maybe the ACLU will defend you after you get arrested. <laughs> yeah, when he mails you the wine, you're not supposed to. Well, or whatever, how, whatever the hell that is. It'll, Whoever wins it, it'll be secret. <laughs> secret wine. Except, please don't get me arrested. Uh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. Next bottle, go again. Thanks, William. Mm-hmm. But we'll start. Okay. All right. Okay. Greetings, adventurers. You have joined us. For another episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast, I am your dungeon master, Michael Demaro, and with me is Mike Bachman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to be first, but she was a good-looking dame with the thighs that said, "You gotta help me right now." <laughs> Jennifer <Say>. Cheek. <laughs> I'm, spe- I'm speechless. You should say each of your words as a different character. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I just Back to back. You cannot slow down. Don't slow down. Go. Uh, there's smoke coming out of my ears. I cannot. I cannot do it. <laughs> Tim Lanning. Hey, everybody. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. And Nika Howard. Hey, guys. It's me. <laughs> Hi. Nika worked out today. So you have to say good job, Nika. <laughs> I went to work out on a Saturday. <laughs> you did it. I'm, I'm proud of everybody. Thank you. Not I'll me. Give I didn't do money. Just then. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good at giving money. Thank you. Whoa. I haven't worked out in ever, but I did walk a lot and drink a lot of beer in <laughs> Asia. So that's good. Uh, that's good for you. I lost weight. Yeah. That nice. beer diet. That beer diet. I sweat it all out. I've body. been going to physical therapy. Oh. Um, so I was trying to help my back. I yeah. need to go to mental therapy as well. <laughs> I need to go to mental therapy. Have, as well. I've got time. Visit. I've got time for one or the other. So. Oh, you got to keep the shell of the body healthy, and you can work on the inside. Later. I need to go to teeth therapy. Ooh, the, um, I haven't been to one of those in a really the long te- time. The teeth therapist. Yikes! Yeah. Yikes! Um, so for those playing along at home, this is the second half of our. Uh, Geekly charity stream recording. Uh, Tim has now been recording for, let's see, eleven hours. I I started the call uh, uh, eleven hours and fifty minutes ago. Jeez. Yep. Wow. Um, so Ten minutes. The whole thing would have been started for twelve hours. Also, we just got to five thousand dollars, <gasps> seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Seven. I keep Dang. fucking up how to speak. But we'll mm-hmm. see where this oh, goes. You're gonna sound real good late. Five thousand seven hundred seventy-seven seventy-seven seven dollars, and probably seventy-seven cents if that was possible. But it's not. And Nika, you've been streaming since what, like five fifteen or something? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's I mean, like a good four hours for you. That's a long time still. Yeah. Also, you guys are champs. 
I'm on my fourth tequila drink, so let's just say <laughs> things are blurry. Um, you're all very lucky my all of my clothes are still on. <laughs> my, <laughs> we have a whole episode to get through, so. All right, if we get to 6,000, we'll see right. what happens. Each one of us will take something off. Uh, um, yeah. I don't got a lot. Um, I only have like a yeah, few so it, When we get I to 7,777, I guess we just raffle off a picture of my dick. Yeah, yeah and that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's, yeah. I was Be like, careful. Sorry, I credit all of it to... I'm wearing my my Mac Weldon oh, lounge man. pants. Oh, <laughs> I want to make, give a shout Mac out to my, my Lord and Savior Mac Weldon. Uh, I don't I don't think this is one of our paid ads. This is just literally just like us them. talking about it. Um, he said it's a drink and take her glasses off at six I'll just be squinting the rest of the time. Like I can't see my hair. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna get mad swamp ass so I put on my Mac Weldon again. This is not an episode they're paying us for. <laughs> we just like them. Just like them. This is literally just because we like their clothes. Oh, that yeah, smells fantastic. but we will be doing more ads. So who gives a shit? So. It's like, whatever. Yeah, you know. They've tricked hey, us. Bachman, what are you getting into over there? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting into, so, so again, not a paid ad, but um, <laughs> I, I get uh, wine from Knocking Point, which is uh, oh. Stephen Amell's winery. And uh, this is uh, uh, Amell Beck. Oh, I love Amell Beck. I love Amell Beck. Yeah, it's like a regular Malbec, but better. Nice. Mm. <laughs> so right there. That's great. <laughs> Just cracking did the they, boy open. Did they deliver that to your home once a they, month? They well, not once a month, once a quarter, mm. but uh, yes, they and it, you know, with other things, but I'm sure, I'm sure Wink is much better. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> uh, uh, try wink.com slash dnd. Oh, yeah, that again. <laughs> again, not a paid ad. Well, that one was well, we're just well, yeah, how was it today? not for this episode, was it? No, it's always a we it's get always, uh, yeah, if you sign up for try wink.com slash dnd for every one of you that does, we get money. Yeah, okay, okay, well, cut out the portion where I don't know what the fuck's going on. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> Just drink it from the bottle. Drink it. Get a fine. Oh, this is fancier. He's oh, don't even fucking pretend like you're not going to finish the bottle. My dude, of course I am. But <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till I mix this with Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. He's yeah, trying to kill me from afar with his bedroom. It's still red, right? I mean, Red, yeah, red Bull's red, right? <laughs> red oh, Bull, God, red that's red good. Wine. It's better than Uh-oh. friggin' <laughs> another mall back friggin' turd. Face. Okay, look at the legs on that. Look at this. you see the legs? Oh, that's oh, those are good animal. legs. Yeah, they, yeah, they got dames that tell you to walk. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who are at the twitch.tv slash Geekly Inc. for the 24-hour tabletop day. Uh, we will be ending this stream in about an hour, a little longer than an hour, and then doing Sayer Fiasco, then Secret Hitler, and then some other more games. <laughs> Is uh who else is on what thing? Not to what is Tim? You're here the whole time. Right? I'm here the but whole time. Anyone else? Uh, I'm done until tomorrow morning. I think. Yeah, John comes back, and we're joined by uh, Adam, Kim, Mike Lane, and Steph for Sayer say Fiasco. Nice. And then we're gonna play Secret Hitler. Uh, Bachman's gonna come on back. Then Vince I is am. gonna join us along with Matthew Morris, Brad, nice. uh, uh, and Matt Sperlin. Courtney, Courtney Sporland and Josh Scalf, so that's like mostly the Norhal crew, which I love. Plus Vins. Uh Plus Vins and Bachman. Yeah. Uh, and John, technically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then at 4 a.m. Uh, in Glorious Space with me, John, Vince, and Cody. Uh, and then The Captain is Dead with me, John, Nick, Kim, Sam, and Hiroshi. Um, I heard some things about Secret Hitler that I found slightly disturbing. Okay. Yes, we're actually not playing Secret Hitler, we're playing Secret 350. Uh, <laughs> That's not very nice. Uh, well, <laughs> you call me Hitler. What's the difference? Mm. Um, oh no. The wonderful Hugo uh, made a Secret Hitler style uh, uh, Michael Dude Morrow, which is really great, which turned that alligator Tyrannosaur into. Uh, friggin' thrifty boy, which is great. So we're super thankful Don't about that. Keep Don't giving us money it. because uh, the ACLU will be will say, "Well, golly, these nerds gave us a bunch of money. These Thanks. fucking nerds give us money." Well, what do you know? Well, Sheriff's um, here. <laughs> My body is ours. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's see. What is there? Anything else? Do we want to just say you can still buy a Geekly Con ticket, but you don't get a shirt anymore? Sorry. Yeah. Love you. Goodbye. Um, mm -hmm. And also, uh, time is running out. We only you only have until the end of May to get a yearbook slot. 
um, to be in the GeeklyCon program, which is really fun, and it's like it makes it a nice memento and you get to say something nice for to your friends. You can do it for ten bucks. So it's easy. Um, let's do that. Go right, to geeklycon.com. When that's fine, I've been meaning to ask. Yeah, uh, end of May. Um, okay, sooner the better. Uh, right. Yeah. Especially if you're. Gonna... I just mean for outing purposes, but. Oh, for that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah. hopefully awesome. sooner than that, but hopefully. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Who, who wants to roll a d20? Uh, you know I do. Oh my god. Do I still have to roll, I even roll though I didn't last time? 20? I got a nine. Oh, I got a fucking sixteen. <laughs> Jennifer, you roll so well yeah, lately. I got... What the shit? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I rolled a nineteen. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, nice. I got a seventeen. My goodness, <laughs> what high rolls we have this evening. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so that's me, huh? Yeah, that's you, buddy. Uh, were we? So we were in Paler's Hope at the beginning of last episode. We were in yes. Paler's Hope at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! I had no idea where we were. <laughs> um, where in the world were we? <laughs> so uh, we were Steve, Toby. Uh, Aludra and Jayla, we were all in uh, Paler's Hope. And then we decided that we were not going to be in Paler's Hope anymore. We were going to go to Titty Town. <laughs> and boy, did we ever. I'll tell you what, we got teleported by a uh, goblin that Toby was none too thrilled about. Yeah. Once, once we got there, uh, we we were led by, uh, by Boz to a... Um, and to the leader, the leader of the uh, of this uh, monster community, which was a the most beautiful knoll you've ever seen, <laughs> uh, just fairest fur and longest mane, uh, by the name of Cheryl Mellencamp, <gasps> oh. who you might remember <laughs> as the blushing bride of Steve Mellencamp. But Steve's dead, and he's now a gross monster dude. So he's going by the name Tom, so that she doesn't know that how gross he is. Um, it's kind of like when you try and cover up your farts from your wife, uh, <laughs> but in this case, he had to change his name to do it. So <laughs> you farted so bad, you had to change your name. <laughs> he he farted the worst. And so Reason like, for divorce: toot. <laughs> Extremely bad toots. Tim, if that were the case, you would have already been divorced by me. No. <laughs> And his name would be Daryl. Uh, we so we 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 talked we talked with her um, about things that I forget now. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somebody, 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 we were making a p- plan. Well, we're making plans to. <laughs> uh, go, you're gonna go and gonna go. break into Glane, Jewel of the East. We're gonna break into Glane, Jewel of the East, mm-hmm. to steal so you all can, the jewels. <laughs> so you can get up to get up to Nareev. But get the, to Nar- Nareev. The other and all of our friends though, were. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, he's gone. Go on, go on. Oh, he's dead. I got broken. Is he frozen? Yeah, I think he's frozen. Ah, shit. Well, he's gone. No. Nice job, Jennifer. I killed him by interrupting too much. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. It's me, Steve. Um, yeah, Google <laughs> crashed. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's 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 what we did, and we were about ready to go do a thing that we talked about. <laughs> and that's... Uh... <laughs> Actually, I think the episode ended when everyone was just kind of talking nonsensically and then we we're like all right it's enough time let's stop well, because the other important thing that happened was that nix and um lucan lucan showed up mm. which meant that several of us were playing multiple characters at the same time and it was a lot for everyone involved. i loved it i was I cracking my whole shit up i was dying to death i was happy with how quickly i was able to reaccess uh nix's vibe like i felt like so at home just like slipped right into that nix skin <laughs> Man, uh, poor Wiggins though. Just ice cold. Yeah, Alerta does fucking hate Wiggins. Just well, because she's usually not mean to people, but you know, he fucking uh, he's rude. He is a traitor. All right, so let's let's pick right back up. We're still in that same room. Oh, God damn it! What's up? We be like us oh, the next day. <laughs> Three weeks <Hey."> later, <laughs> we're in that same room, and um. And uh, Cheryl Mellencamp goes. Uh, she goes. So, so tell me, big boy, what is your story? You are uh, 
You are just the largest monster I've ever seen. We've got all kinds of monsters in here, but I've never seen one like you before. And but but, but by golly, you, you you look familiar to me somehow. Oh, I'm I'm sure we've never met before. I mean, my name's Tom, um, T O M, definitely not T H O M. I wouldn't dare. Uh, <laughs> and I, you know, I just I, I've been. I've been hot on the trail with these Norevians trying to figure out what's going on and how we're going to stop them. And that's my goal. There's, that's my purpose. Nothing more just, interesting about me. There's just something about your your voice. and Aludra is like making eye contact with JLo, like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there's, there's something about, you, about your voice. That, Steve, <laughs> roll, roll deception. Roll deception. Oh, shit. I rolled an 11. Let me check my deception here. Uh, oh, it's a 1. So 12? <laughs> no, I know you from somewhere, which just is the damnedest thing, because you'd think I'd remember a giant yeah. meat monster. You don't know me! <laughs> uh, t um. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I just get... I get, can we, I get, um, you know. Cheryl? Can I just take a moment, really quick, to talk to um, my friend here, just really quick? Sorry. Oh, sure. Right. Go ahead. I'll, I'll just go in the other room here. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. He's. Yeah. Uh, well, I miss you. I mean. Oh shit. <laughs> um, and uh, Alidra like grabs him by his. Now, what kind of arms does he have again? Bugbear. Bugbear. Bear. 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 grabs Bear. him by his yeah. Albear arms and drags him over the corner and like oh, kind of motions for. Jayla to come over too. Um, I go over it. Steve, you nice. you can't keep you you have to tell her that it's you. <laughs> you have how, to. How can I? Well, I mean, she's already surrounded herself with like all these different kinds of monsters. I think she seems like a pretty open-minded lady. There's a difference between being friends and accepting monsters and mm. and loving one. Oh. See, you're such a good person, though. Like, I, I think that, I think Cheryl would be, I mean, number one, I think that Cheryl would be hurt if she found out that you were here and didn't tell her. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> I walked over, too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of, it's funny, I did not grab Toby, but I assumed he would come over also in my brain. <laughs> so I was like, oh, it's time to chat. I'm sorry. But she's, she seems to have, have made a life for herself now, and I just, I just, feel like I would be I'd be a burden. I mean, up until now the only the only people who've been accepting of me and my condition are you and 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 commoners. <laughs> <laughs> she is not a commoner anymore. I know. Oh, she's so high level. She's, she's very she'll never important. She'll, Steve, um, I'm going to tell you this. And I want you to know that this comes from my heart. Lay it on me, my dude. But <laughs> What what you just said is horseshit. If you love, <laughs> hear me out. If you love Cheryl, go fucking tell her that you love her. Don't make the mistake of running away from it and hiding for five years. That's right. And throwing that time away whenever you could be there by her side. Yes, things have changed, but she still loves you. And in her heart. Her hardest heart of hearts. She wants to know that you are still alive because it is tearing her up every single night to not know what happened to you. And if you don't tell her, you're just continuing that suffering and hurt that she is going through. So tell her. Tell her you love her. Tell her you want to come back and just give her a big old smooch on the lips. Aludra's like crying. <laughs> Weeping, looking at Jayla, and she like grabs her hand. Yeah, and then they smooch, and then they smooch on the lips. <laughs> Jayla, you you were there. Steve died when he touched the demonomicon, and he walks away. <gasps> how can we? How can we? Are, how can we convince him? Our guys, this is so messed up. This is bad. This is not good. Okay. Uh, so Cheryl, oh, Cheryl comes. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Oh no, I was just gonna say Jayla walks away over to Cheryl. Oh, oh shit! Um. <laughs> Whatever she tells you, it's a lie. <laughs> <I'm dumb>! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> she goes, 
as you're walking over, Cheryl's like, Tug, I told you, you gotta go and, and get fetch me my peanut butter, like I said. <laughs> oh, I'm, Is this I'm sorry, I forgot you only like crunchy. I got, uh, the, <laughs> I got the creamy. Uh, and she turns, she turns to Jayla and she goes, Oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I have these hormones just <laughs> coursing through me. And, uh, it's the damnedest thing. It's, I, uh, I, I couldn't imagine, but, um, I, I commiserate well, I with was, you. I was frozen in that block for, for all these years. And, oh, it is the saddest story. My, I had a, my husband, he was, I lost him right before the demon apocalypse and all this stuff happened. Do you, do you know what happened to him? I don't... I, I, I surely I do not. And it is... It tears me apart because as as soon as he got back from from his last adventure, I was, I was going to tell him the good news. Well, Cheryl, I don't know if you remember me. You probably don't remember me like this, but I knew you a long time ago. Um... And I just wanted to let you know that Steve is closer to you than you think. And are, you, that, are, you, are you serious? What do you mean? Like in my heart? I, I do no, feel him in my heart. He is always in your heart, but also he is physically closer to you <laughs> than you think. I, so you, you, could you, you are picking up on it. You could tell because I am, I, am, uh, I am expecting. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, um, okay. Oh, God. Cheryl, um, I think that you should, maybe, I'm going to tell you this, and I know this is going to sound really weird, but I have found that I'm, I'm able to confide in Tom a lot. I tell him everything that is weighing me down, all of my deepest, darkest secrets, and I think that... Okay. You should go and talk to Tom and tell him everything. Tell him how you feel about losing Steve. I mean, your husband, who I don't know. Um, <laughs> and and just and tell him everything and just and talk to him and be open, completely open and honest about how you feel. You know that it's funny you say that because. Why, while he is just a terror to look upon <laughs> and just a, a waking nightmare. That's did... the same thing my wife says about me. <laughs> <laughs> I would say maybe bring a commoner with you if you have one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> they seem to relate really well with him. But just really? whenever did... you look at him, think of Steve. Think think of well, all the good times you had. I was just, I felt strangely drawn to him for some reason. I don't, I think you should. I can't explain it. No, a soul, (laughs) I'll tell you this from experience. A person's soul does not have to look the same for it to be the same person. Mm. Um, Well, that's kind of weird. I don't. Well, it is. You know, I used to be a man and now I'm a woman. Who knows? (laughs) Things are weird. (laughs) Well, you know, that's, that is a, is that, was that a, that's, I mean, we accept uh, that. We're fine with that here. I mean, we accept everyone. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, just, I, I, you don't even need to say anything about that. Um, I just, I think you should go talk to s- Tom. Tom, go talk to Tom. <laughs> um, talk Stom. to Tom. All right. Go talk to Tom. Um, if you think so. I mean, I, I, you know, I feel a strange connection with you as well. Your whole group, it seems the nicest folk. Well, you know, we... We're just, we're just the nicest. We would never <laughs> kill anyone. I, I, got, I got that sense. <laughs> if there was a trailer for this episode, that line would be in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, the gang kills some people. <laughs> uh, I don't. Okay, Tom. Oh, hey. Tom. Yes, my own, I mean Cheryl. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I just uh, I, I got some advice. Um, I've been having some some emotions, and uh, and I know this is seems like a, a a strange road for us to go down, having just met each other and all that. But um, uh, that that nice purple lady over there said I should talk to you because you've got like a special connection with folk. 
Well, I mean, you know, people people seem to relate to me. You're usually commoners. I mean, <laughs> for being honest. But, I, I mean, you know, yeah. Is there something you needed to talk about? Well, I've just been... I've been feeling down. I, I, uh, like I said, you you know my whole story. How I was frozen for years and years uh, oh, yeah. after the demon apocalypse. Well, I lost someone very special to me. And uh, and uh, when I when I came back when I got unfrozed, I uh, I thought that well. So here's the thing. This is hard to say for some reason to you. Um, <laughs> I was, I got, I, uh, me, me and my, my husband, we were trying to, well, we were trying to have a baby before yeah. he went off on, uh, on this voyage, this special voyage he had to go on for some godforsaken reason. And, uh, and when he got back, I was going to tell him that, you know, that it stuck. <laughs> that it took. <laughs> But, but you were that. But you so I got. So I got frozen, right? I got frozen. Yeah, All yeah. the stuff happened. Demon apocalypse brought the people here. X Y Z got froze. Got froze up by a demon, and then got froze came, up by a demon. <laughs> I came back. I came back, and uh, and you know, first I didn't feel anything down in my oven. You know what I mean. <laughs> But it's it's the damnedest thing when you walked in and I and I looked in your eyes I, f I felt my baby kick again. How how long were you frozen? <laughs> oh, a very long time, years. <laughs> the the null gestation period is nine Earth months. I heard. It is indeed. Uh, what are Earth months? I don't know why <laughs> I agreed know, to that sentiment. You, you know, it's it's generally understood. Moving on. <laughs> Why? So yeah. So so my 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 beautiful husband, who is just so handsome, physically. I mean, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Tom uh, like Steve has got you know kind of like a single tear rolling. Well, double tears because there's one on each cheek. Are we? Are they like super far? Can we like hear it all? Like I'm pretty much yeah. <laughs> We're all in the doorway just peeking. Like, oh, man. Um, so I guess, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know, I'm having all these emotions and feelings from probably the, the hormones, because, you know, I'm still, I mean, I still have a few months to go, but, but, yeah. uh, but this baby what apparently. The, what's the null gestational period? Nine Earth months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nine Earth <laughs> months. <laughs> oh, it's the same as humans. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Are, are you, so there, there's never been, you know, anyone else since you're. Your husband? I mean, I guess no. you've been frozen for most of that time. <laughs> I was frozen for a lot. Like, I only got out just a few weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> Bobman's head is in his hand like, in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so sure, I just, I, I don't... Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 no, I'm sorry, you go. <laughs> no, I, I just, I was just, I don't know, it's the darndest thing when I looked at you, I just, I felt it. So, I don't know, when that, that nice purple lady said I should talk to you. Oh. Did hey. Steve, like, see us? Like, can we, like, make eye contact with him yeah. where we're hiding? I, I messaged him. Do it! <laughs> and Eluder's like, mouthing, do it! <laughs> Cheryl, if you could... If you could see your husband again, but he, well, let's just say he wasn't what you thought he, you thought he was. Oh, I knew, I knew Steve's heart. His, his physical heart or his, his emotional <laughs> heart? Because that's import, an important distinction. I had this conversation. Well, he had a physical null heart, but I, I knew his, his being as well. And you, and you, I mean. From what I've been from what I've been told, that Steve was a, a very attractive knoll. Oh, he was he was the finest looking knoll uh, <laughs> this side of the melon camp. Uh, I can just picture him now, just carrying a big load of melons. He's all glistening <laughs> with sweat. Steve, uh, 
everybody knows. This. Steve slowly uh, reaches out an all bear, an all bear uh, paw, and and you know, he, he just like he kind of waits to see like if 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 she recoils and does she? <laughs> Roll for recoil. <laughs> kind of like it's a, you know, it's a, it's about midway. It's slowly reaching. What uh, what Steve's charisma? <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Well, that depends. Is Cheryl a commoner? Of course she isn't. Oh, no. There's nothing common what? about Cheryl. Do I have a, but if she feels like she has a connection to me, do I have advantage in this roll? Uh, well, I'm going to roll on my end. Okay. Oh, shit. I dropped my dice. One of these days, uh, uh, he's going to meet a commoner, finally. I know. We, we need to meet nine commoners to, to like make up for lost time. Uh... Fourteen is your that's your charisma. She does not. She does not recoil. I wouldn't be able to. Tom now, who now I I think you know is is is, is given up that that title after many long minutes of of having it. Uh, <laughs> it kind of caresses the side of her face, leaving a kind of a streak of of a pus <laughs> down the side of it. <laughs> I do forget how gross he is exactly. <laughs> he says, "I'll, I'll never leave you again, Cheryl." <gasps> what? I'm sorry, my, my, my stars. What, what are you saying? A lot of things have happened since since we last spoke, but it's it's me. It's Steve. What? S Steve? But hi, I'm Steve. <laughs> How? <laughs> you you're not a knoll at all. My Steve was a knoll. I I'm I'm still a knoll in in my heart. And my 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 emotional, like you know, like metaphorical heart, not my physical heart. That's that that belongs to a minotaur. But <laughs> I I went you remember when I went on that on that mission with uh, uh, yes of course I, well i remember when steve what what wait what mission uh what was it that i don't even remember what the fuck we were getting the demon <laughs> on, right? yeah this is all in character i, I don't know <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah no we went when we're we went, yangar yeah we went when, when we went to retrieve the demon omicron well how would you know right. that and i and I said to you that I, I said before I left when you were when you were crying and worried that I wouldn't return, I, I, I kissed your cheek and I said, I'll, I'll always return to you, Cheryl. You're my you're my rock. You're my you're my everything. <laughs> she uh, tear, tears start welling in her her eyes. I just what I can't believe this. What, what happened? I. I died, Cheryl. I died, but, in my, and my, and my, my my soul was preserved, and I knew that I just couldn't leave this plane until I'd come back to you. And so, so like you, you just got put in this body just, uh, just now, like just a, a few weeks ago, or oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Cheryl, promise you won't be mad. <laughs> 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 what, what, I, well, I still don't even know if I can believe this, but what do you what what do you mean? Yeah, you know Tom, the Dragonborn. Tom Vidalis, the great hero. Yeah, I was, I yeah. was in his head for a long time. <laughs> oh, it's hard to it's hard to believe, but my but my soul was trapped in the demon Omicron, and then it got transferred into Tom, and then Tom and I we wrestled for a little while, and then he decided that he liked me, and I liked him too, and then he decided that he was going to save me, and eventually he figured out a way to do it, but he ended up putting me in this meat golem of all the flesh parts, <laughs> saving over long many years, and and now here I am, but he's gone, and I miss him so much, but not as much as I miss you, Cheryl. I'm sorry, I'm you. Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why I have a southern accent now. <laughs> You're just going to have one. Here. I feel like oh, I'm picking up. It's probably a dialect of where we're from, and now this is how it talks. Yeah, it's like when you get back to your hometown, yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? No, that like actually literally happens to me. <laughs> so. Um, 
she just she stares at at Steve for a second, and then <laughs> she. Steve, and she, you have something on your face and he goes to wipe the pus away it just leaves more pus because it's just you know it's steep um and she she slaps him across the face <gasps> how does his face deal with that <laughs> is it like just indent like insane it, kind of like, it shakes more than like normal flesh would it's a bit of a like a like his face, because his face doesn't look like it's completely attached. He's got a sloppy kind of, face. Yeah. He's a sloppy, gooey, <laughs> jumble face. It's like when She's... you watch somebody getting slapped in slow motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she goes, "Don't, don't you ever leave me again, Steve Mellencamp." Except when you go on your adventures on account of this podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah. right, of I mean, we do a podcast after all, and we gotta, we got to appease the fans. But other than that, I'll never leave you again, I promise. Can't get another character. Or her can't take it. Maybe Cheryl can come along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just run around with us. We can acquire wait, Cheryl, more people. Cheryl hasn't told Steve that... Yeah, Cheryl hasn't told Steve everything yet, has she? What do you mean? Did she, did she say she was pregnant yet? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, she did. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> and... How could I ever leave you again and, and little our child? <laughs> Steve too. She uh she embraces Steve and then she she whispers into his ear What do you, what do you have under that loincloth? There, Steve? <laughs> oh be- beans. Oh beans. <laughs> I, well, I got to be honest with you. It's a human finger, but we can make it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let's have a couple. Oh, my God. Six minutes of. Oh, I need to smoke a cigarette right now. <laughs> hardcore I, null fucking. Or... <laughs> finger blast. Finger blasting, I guess. <laughs> finger blasting Cheryl. <laughs> this is um. a lot. <laughs> Tim's dying lot. right now. What? She uh, all his emotions. I know, I didn't to get emotional on my own podcast. <laughs> she pushes. She pushes Steve away, and she turns to you all, and she goes, "You have Tid Town support. Yes, we will lend you the men you need to to take to break through and get into." Glaine Jewel of the East and yes. storm the, the White Spire and do whatever you need to do to save all those people. Yes. Oh, Cheryl, thank you so thank you so much yeah. for your help. And, and Luder's like crying still, like ugly, like snot, snot coming out because she's been listening, <laughs> eavesdropping on all this. And she's just like, I was, I'm was so happy for you guys and I hope you're happy together. And I, I mean... <sighs> Any help that you might need, we're we have your back. You guys, we I'm... love Steve. We love Steve. He's a good person. Yeah, and we can corroborate everything he's saying. It's one hundred percent true. And... Yeah. <laughs> she already believes me. Like you guys are like, he's no, not I'm lying. Like, like, you in, I know. witnesses. If you have any questions like, oh. about his tall tales, oh. just we got his back. You guys, I'm gonna be a daddy. I'm gonna have a little level one. Oh. <laughs> Golly beans. That's so, oh, that's so good, Wait, Steve. I'm so happy for you. Steve, you know what they turn out as before they get level one? <gasps> they're commoners. They're com- <laughs> <laughs> oh, the he's ultimate. gonna love you so much. <laughs> Since there's no minions in this. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have a, 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 a little baby Noel that can can see the great pain. <laughs> but I felt... <laughs> Dad, he seems sad. Uh, she, goes, she goes, thank you, your majesty. And, uh, and and can we count on support from the Wood Elves as well, Miss Nix? Uh, yeah, I mean, looking pretty much does whatever I tell him to. And this seems like it'd be pretty interesting, so I'm down with it. <laughs> and uh, and boss, what, what are we? Can you make the the necessary preparations? I make your baby the best crib from bone. Oh, the baby will love it. Bone crib, <laughs> bone mobile. Bone uh, rattle check. I mean a rattle. That makes sense for bone. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. That's really good. So, 
You got it. And, and I'm a good <laughs> babysitter also. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can we can we just stop for a second and point out the fact that it's only been minutes. Hugo already has <laughs> Steve and Cheryl yes. smut. Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> There's a link in the chat. Bless he you, already done Hugo. It. Yes. I need that Man, smut. My dude. To live. I am afraid of it, but I'm also excited. I've seen some That's messed so up good. smut in my life, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think I think he had that like a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, the, but that's mm, he that's was good. ready. You know, you know. So good. Mama Mia. <laughs> All right. That spicy meatball that is. <laughs> so now so now what? Now what, what? what are you guys doing now? I think that we need to have a celebration. Well, yeah, I think Steve, we need to... Steve and Cheryl have disappeared. Yeah, they're gone sure. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the setup is. I don't know if we can hear. I hope we can't. I don't need I mean, to hear that. I mean, that's my friend. Yeah, I'm not into that. Um, but I think the rest of us, it's like, his his finger's gonna come. Oh, Toby, Ooh. that's gross. <laughs> that was Tim saying. It. I'm sorry. <laughs> Toby, Toby would like to hear that kind of language. Toby would not people. say that. Toby would not say that. <laughs> I think the rest of us would be celebrating uh, our new alliance. I want to celebrate. I want to uh, see if I can learn any fun new magics from these weird monsters mm. okay uh, to go to the monster library do they <laughs> have one sure oh. oh you don't think monster have library <laughs> i mean it's a cave it's a very damp we here. have library <laughs> Wait, but it's just, there's no books in it it's just, just bones. Like, no. uh no i'm not particular it's not bones it's, well there are bones but there's other things too no it's just our different weapons and you know. It's like a museum or whatever. Yeah, is this is this good enough for you? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, okay. I can I can fuck with this. <laughs> I can fuck with this library. And he really just goes through it, takes his time, reads each individual tiny placard, not just like mm. the big main mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. um, and really, it has a nice day of it. Makes a day of it. Yeah. Would, right. a, would a cleric good. and like a um a wizard have like? things in common like would they want to like share no not at mm -hmm. all no no no, no, no okay that's it no, <laughs> no talk in between toby and These, uh boss they would they 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 both study stuff right yeah. they're both learned sure I'll, i guess and we're both teens <laughs> both teens so is, is it weird being in charge and being so young i mean from the time i was little baby I was like an adult because my I had no family, so oh, that's not sad. so weird. Yeah, but now this is my family, the leader Cheryl. I now I'm going to be an an auntie. Oh well, congratulations! <laughs> Everyone seems to be really nice here. There and not bad monsters like I thought. You see and that? I'm gonna be an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, me, is, Doug. This, this is <laughs> me, Doug. <laughs> Hi, Toby. Do you like to drink? Um, I don't you're, really. I, just like a couple meads here and there. Just you're you're a mead man. We might uh, well, have some mead. Well, let me tell you, you mead to try this, and <laughs> hands him a glass. I'm like ninety five percent <laughs> sure that we made this joke before, or I'm having a good day. It's okay. Right now. It's okay. Um, good goof. It's it's a solid goof. That was funny. Okay, I guess I'll try a little bit, not too much. It's so strong. A little bit is gonna get him fucked. Oh, he's such a low. His body weight is so low. Yeah, I mean, right. Is there like a main like common room where everyone's hanging out? A commoner room. A commoner room. Yeah. Yes, there's just a room full of commoners. <laughs> um, and I would say that probably Boz and Tug and Toby go back in the common room, and Ludra and Jayla are like grossly making out on the corner. Ew. Of course. They've already like somehow they're drunk like immediately. <laughs> it's been like twenty minutes tops. So I guess. <laughs> Jayla's an efficient drinker. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I'm hanging out with them and, and just trying not to get drunk. I'm trying to be safe. All right, roll. <laughs> roll constitution. <laughs> roll for A constitution check to see how it does. Mm -hmm. oh, that one's gone. Ooh, nine. You know, you're plus. playing D&D. &D. Yeah, exactly, buddy. Um... Um, is it a saving throw or uh, just a Yeah. Throw? Okay, then the saving throw would be a 17 saving throw. All right. You don't get too drunk. 
I'm 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 just buzzed. He's just like Joe? red. He's got a little flush face. What? Keep your head up. Yeah, I put my hand on her shoulder. Why do you love bones so much? Um, they're fucking cool as hell. Obviously, look at them. Okay. I mean, you know, and 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 also I can make things from them, like my armor. And she like oh. does like a spin. Well, now that it. Uh, is something that Toby would be into talking about. See, I make armor, I make shield, any weapon you want with bone. I would take out one of my little clockwork toys. Uh, this time would be uh, a, um, a little uh, triceratops, not a triceratops, a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it has like <clears throat> little um, filigree that makes it look like it has a Ludra's armor on it. Like, I made this the other day, check this out. Oh. And it kind of like. <laughs> Oh, Toby, this is this is very good. Do you want to keep it? It's not. It sucks. It's oh. it's not. Uh, it's not done yet. But I, you know, you can have it. Not a big oh. deal. And Boz like genuinely seems like really touched and like kind of surprised. It's like, huh? Yeah, yeah. You've given me a, you've given me a lot of things today. I uh, I feel like I have to return the favor. What are you? Are you into weapons? Uh, I know you're a wizard, so I don't know if you're if you like that kind of thing. Yeah, I maybe something decorative. Sure, maybe I could use a, a good dagger. Oh. Buddy, I make you the best bone dagger you've ever seen. Heck yes. I, it might take me a little bit. I need to, to go maybe overnight. Okay. In the morning. I'll, I'll a catch breakfast you. breakfast dagger. I'll, I'll yes. catch you on flip She punches side. him in the arm. Ow. <laughs> so, so, Jayla and Aludra, um, you guys are doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, um, we're doing. <laughs> and uh, and you, hear, you hear a squeaking noise. It's a fucking traitor. <laughs> See, my friend immediately went to like, oh, is Cheryl a safe fucking ass <laughs> bet? That makes a lot more sense than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hey, hey. Hey. Hmm. Oh, hey. oh, look who it is. Hi, Wiggins. J- Jayla, can you talk to her for me? <laughs> She's so mad at me. Why would I talk to her for you? I don't know. You did all that I nice guess. stuff for Steve and, <laughs> and Cheryl. And I just thought. And Luder's like kind of like looking at Wiggins and like. You know what? Look, I, I got all worked up. It was, it was the live audience. <laughs> Sorry, I turned on you. You know what, Wiggins? It's, okay. it's it's okay. No, I I I was holding a grudge a little longer than I should have. Mm-hmm. I think that I was just, you know, I may have been taking out my uh, my emotions about a lot of other things on on you, and you know, maybe you're a little bit of a scapegoat, and that wasn't fair of me. And it's just, Luke, and you know, he's always he knows a lot about animals, and he does. He does. He's re- Luke is really co- let's let's be real. He's really cool. Like uh, like turns to Jayla, and she's like, he's really cool, right? Lucan's the best. He's really cool. <laughs> but God his burritos are, aren't shit. <laughs> oh! Oh, no. wait, hold okay. on. Wiggins, are you saying that Aludra's burritos are shit? No, are, no, 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 are, no, no, no. They're like the shit. Like, good, it's a good thing. Yeah, they're the good, good shit. They're good shit. Good shit. Even <laughs> I've heard of Aludra's burritos. Oh. It's me, that, Tug. Am I, <laughs> <laughs> am I that famous? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maybe oh, I'll have the whip You want Star right. Stream? Maybe I'll have to whip up a batch tonight. <laughs> okay, okay. Where are your a kitchens? burrito off? <laughs> yeah. I just, I just wanted to say sorry. No, it's you know what, Wiggins, it's it's cool. And Luder like crouches down and like reaches out her finger, I guess, to like shake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. We're we're cool. And you know, you know, we're like cool now. You can stay with you can stay with. Looking, it's like fine. It's fine. And we we kind of uh, live in a rough life anyway, so maybe you wouldn't. I'm, be I'm into sure it. we'll come across you guys lots. Yeah, and you know, and I think that I think Bucky'd like to see you too. You know, how's Bucky? Oh my gosh, he's so big. He's so tr- he's so handsome, and she's like crying. He's <laughs> he's really become. He's just such a strong and smart young man. I'm so proud of him. Is Daisy okay? She like those burritos still too? She has a bit Daisy's in an interesting situation Where these is days. Daisy? She's got a um terrifying wings now, right? What? She's like Well, he would have known about that. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, I knew about that. Okay. Oh no, she's good. <laughs> she's great. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, no, she's doing right. good. She's, you know, she's not really in the adventuring life so much anymore, but she deserves it. She yeah. deserves to have a good uh, retirement. Because we really drug her out like too many places, to be honest. It's kind of not fair to her. Yay! <laughs> we were... <laughs> Uh, a drink for my friend Wiggins. <laughs> oh, how much and give him a thimbleful yeah. of liquor. Uh, around on me. <laughs> uh, everyone drink from the thimbles, this guy. Ah, uh, shit, I don't have to grab my wallet. Oh, oh Wiggins, Wiggins, you piece of shit. <laughs> dick. Um, are we, are we, do we need to clear out for the next thing? I think. Um, Soonish, right? Soonish. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's whatever. Okay. Never Let's star stream now. <laughs> we will never <laughs> leave. <laughs> we um, could have more fun in this bar, but it's like uh, cut the episode a little short. Um, yeah, that's yeah, fine. It's not it's too bad. A little short. It's, yeah. I'd rather have a better. It was ending very dramatic. Just exactly. There's a lot happening in this episode. Yes. A lot of emotion in this one. A lot of one. emotion. And and next time it's gonna be, it's gonna be a. Uh, you know, you guys are going off to, yeah. to war. Yeah. No. It's going to get wild. It's not safe. It's crazy. Next time. It's going to be me. <laughs> awesome. Tim- gonna... Timothy? Talk to me. Do you have more feedback? I do. Thank you so much. James Cobalt says, spoiler, everyone dies. All my favorite characters keep dying. Tom Darkblade, Bear Charger, Bananas, Foster. Do I just have bad taste in characters? I must have equally <laughs> bad... characters. <laughs> I must have equally bad taste in friends. I lost five of them at Drunks and Dragons listening party. They died of <laughs> laughter. Oh, oh, well, obviously just joking. Uh, Hippie Girl says, on my fourth list, this podcast always puts me in a better mood. I've heard most of the episodes several times. I still very much enjoy listening again. The hosts are very funny and engaging. The community that has formed around the show is so welcoming. Thanks, 777777777, and keep it icy. <laughs> Uh, Matt Honky Lips from Canada says, You today may have taken over a year, but I'm almost all caught up. I randomly discovered this podcast after a year ago. Downloaded episode one and fell in love. Now only 10 episodes away from being caught up. It's been a wild ride. Keep up the amazing work. Lacone City Boy says, From the slabs to the shot glasses. Started listening from the start. Uh, last year, after uh, revived interest into tabletop gaming, after having not played for eight years, I'm now grown to love not only the characters and world you all have built, uh, but the players themselves. Keeps on saying nice things. Thank you much. Emily O'Reilly says, highly entertaining. Thank you for getting me through the tedium that is Final Fantasy farming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alexa from the United States says, it's a time. <laughs> Great podcast. I was convinced when I started at episode one that it would take me ages to finish, but the gameplay and humor allowed me to devour this podcast very quickly. I have gotten my coworker to listen to it, and I just started our first campaign. Nice. Uh, this has helped me survive my office job. I've caught up and hope to catch the next live stream. Uh, Michael DeMauro is a god amongst men, says Michael. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Michael loves this review. Uh, that's, Kale- a, that's a good review. <laughs> uh, Kalelin says, like I said in the title, DeMauro is truly a god. I'm an original slaver, and I know I should have left this review on uh, left this review on day one, but cor- procrast- excuse me, <clears throat> procrastination is my life flaw. <clears throat> oh, you don't. You can just go on. You don't have to get all. <laughs> Uh, the action. world of drunk roast you've created is truly really amazing. You're the best DM ever. Yeah, yeah, though yeah. Nika Bachman. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not true. I, I do want to clarify again. Also, like we raz Michael constantly, but we all love each other very much. Oh, we we all raz each other all the time. We yeah. love the raz. It's all in good fun. Like, There's no actual animosity. All good. Thank you for this amazing podcast. You've gifted the world with. Thank you to the whole cast to bring the very best that no one ever was. Uh, Darth Venom 17 says, holy hell, I feel the seven. I started listening after I heard about this podcast from the Castle Thrones podcast. I just finished listening to episode 70 and talk about a cliffhanger of an ending. I can't wait to start up the next episode. I've enjoyed the characters and hope they continue a while. Uh, plus one Backstreet Bards by Ew McFull Fresh from the United States. Good day, mates. The heroes of Drunk Rose are a ragtag group of trained derailers and, ra- and re-railers on the Magical Thrifty Try 9000. In all seriousness, you guys are great. The constant laughs I've had with you guys are amazing. I've genuinely grown attached to every character you guys have created in the Drunk Rose world, both the companions uh, you have today and the companions you have lost along the way. Really, guys, it's making... The rounds are viewing podcast today, and I have a profound effect to me. Oh. I just want to say thanks. Okay, bye. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> did we just jump from 5,000 to 6,000? 
Oh my god. Whoa! Someone just came oh, over there. Oh my god. And I saw the number tick over. That, is that real? That looks real. Wow. wow. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. That's so much money. Holy beans. <laughs> Uh, we're oh yeah. shit we're at 6969 yeah that's a sick yeah well, man that's a double sex number that's double sex numbers <laughs> i had no idea we would get to uh thank you Damn. amber schmidt just oh my god the super Jesus. duper duper generous yes. donation uh z man 445 says i don't know how i can go on uh the last number in this podcast helped me get through my first ever real job last summer no seriously i started having to commute and the only things stopping me from smashing into the many cars around me was the middle of all these two wonderful people uh they keep saying that oh, they're in the boston area so yeah you oh, yeah drive is bad uh, Sean 5636 472 from Canada says, Good day, mate from the English Canadian. Been slabbing forever, and I finally got around to running a review. Whilst slaving away alone in the corner of my workshop, I thought I could socially interact with my fellow employees. Two minutes later, I downloaded one of your podcasts, so I'm now hooked. Came to see how Jennifer abuses her T Rex powers and <laughs> how hopeless thrifty will be to stop her. Everybody, Not enough. I shouldn't abuse them more. <laughs> everybody keep really fantastic work. Okay, bye. Obscene Knitter from the United States says, finally caught up. Yeah, I'm one of those people who went into, like, got completely caught up before I reviewed, but I had to make sure everything was consistently excellent. I jest, but I have to say this podcast fired me to do my own session. And I love listening on my way to work, at work, when I'm sitting at home, or really any time. Uh, Blarg Face from the United States. Ooh, mommy. Love the show. It gives me life. Uh, Vazaro says 10 out of 10. We listen again. Currently in episode 87. I enjoyed this series so far. Not a fan of D&D 4E, but I couldn't bring myself to skip uh, all the entertainment value to get to 5E content. Trunks and Dragons when I started to pick up after the Dreadwing Behemoth. I'm glad mm-hmm. I stuck with it. <clears throat> While I want to catch up, I also do it at the same time. Currently, it's keeping me occupied at work on a daily basis. And someday, that'll come to an end. <coughs> There's always random encounters. And they keep saying this thing. Um... I'm dying. Sarah from England from the United Kingdom says, funny and information, informal 5e D&D podcast. This is the second D&D podcast I listened to after starting with D&Ds for Nerds. The latter podcast was good introducing to our RPG for me. I consider this podcast the immediate step. Uh, this cast, uh, the cast in the beginning are new to the game too, so it's a good way to learn the system along with them. I ended up joining a campaign after a year and a half podcast. Thanks so much. Uh, Peach, one, two, do, 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 do. Uh, It's a me, Brett Favre. Uh, this podcast not only got oh me to God. play D&D. It's 7,700. What is happening? <gasps> wow. Wow. I feel like what could, this is so special. Uh, That's insane. Well, all right, Mike. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> whip it out. Time to get nude, uh, man. <laughs> Shit, now we gotta take our shirts off. <laughs> okay, everyone show their titties. No, I've, I've already out. done that on stream and we didn't get oh, banned. Seven, locally. This is going up so fast. It's 70. Oh my god. Shit. What's oh, happening? Lord. Y'all got money. You're thank so, you. Uh, it, thank you so much for, to the, for, from oh, us and the shit. ACLU. Holy biscuits and beans! Um, I think I think they just really want to mess up my my reading. I think that's really you know yeah. <laughs> very rude. Yeah. Once it's we finish this like... up, throw another Christmas wine raffle in there. Yeah, Holy damn. Dude. Equal balance. For... Wait, th- there was. Did you uh, read this one? No, the Brett Favre one. Oh. This uh, this one Brett Favre. Uh, this part has gotten me to play D. Oh no, they want me to read it. That's what I was gonna say. I'll oh, do okay. it. Sorry. Uh, this podcast has not only got me to play D&D, but it's helped me when I feel depressed and anxious. All the great goofs cheer me up and make the awful trials of AP high school classes. Oh, my God, high school. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seemed not so bad. Also, this is right on air, Jennifer. I, I did it. I got you. Um, but, 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 thank you. Equal Balance Canada says, so much fun. G'day, mate. Easily one of my favorite podcasts. Listen to this every day at work, making every dreary, boring days at work fly by. Now that I'm all caught up, I can start watching live on Twitch. I recommend this podcast to anyone who has D&D itch that can't be solved in their everyday lives. Good work, Geeklies. Similar little from the United States is my second review. Hey, guys. I swapped from iPhone to Android, so now I can leave you a review on Stitcher as well as on iTunes. I did leave you a very good five-star review on iTunes, but you never read it. Okay. So, please read this. Can I have Bachman, please, in his shiny oh. round voice? <laughs> Do you want to... Uh... I don't have it. I don't have, <laughs> I don't it, have it. it. Oh, no. If you really message it to me, I could. Just yeah. say... Just, uh, I guess we hit in the chat. Just, uh... Just, uh... Just, uh... <laughs> just, uh... Yeah. Uh, just, Jim is struggling. Uh, Buddy, you need some coffee! Just, well, He's I a don't, sleepy boy! God, don't don't touch me! In 12 hours, get your shit together. Alright, I just sent it in the D&D thing. Okay. Oh, shit, this is long. Yeah, don't do um, all of it. 
Where do I start? At the top. It's wherever your heart At the top. Okay, decides. hold up. Hold up. Let me increase the size. Is this good? Is this good audio? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm so impressed with the show and guests. <laughs> That means word is way into my heart from, from being what I thought was the densest of all players. Hey, he <laughs> really astounded me with his breadth of character creations. I'm now convinced he's playing the idiot to be able to throw all the players for the loop time and time again. <laughs> Although Tim as well, I never cared much either way for Dorkblade. <laughs> he never and never Damn. warmed up to Harper, but I. Hair oh, color. Does this guy like us? He's a fucking <laughs> savage. It doesn't get better. <laughs> I adore Toby. He's played so well and from and so differently from Harper. I just want to grab his little cheeks and squeeze them. He's so cute. Sorry, girls, you're not mentioned just because you you are just genetically awesome and you I don't think it's generically. It's, it's I mean, I am actually. genetically awesome, but the bolster your confidence. I'm just really <laughs> sad now that I've caught up. No more binge listening. It was that. It was that I don't that's, know. It's not really positive, it's but okay, <laughs> cool. Very charging. So I, I mean. To be fair, they didn't mention me. At all. Yeah, you're you're an nice. <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even generic. Uh, a big squirrel from the United States says, "So dicey, call me Colt from Homer, Alaska. Man alive, never had heard blah, blah, blah. never have I heard Homestar references outside of the echoing chasm of my own brain box or the small little circle of childhood friends also in my head. Tim, yeah. you dropping Jackie Chan Adventures and Firefly, I swear I hear a mummy's alive joke. I don't know what that is. I'm going to see you for having the same sad title as me. Also, by the number of Adventure Time references I'm catching, sounds like adult life is much better for you. <laughs> what? I don't know what Adventure Time I don't know what that means. Yeah. What's Adventure Time? Uh, you guys are hilarious, and you really brighten up my day during the long drives and my night jobs as a janitor. I'm right around 104 right now, and I have to say, you guys are way better than Insert Other Podcasts, or even Insert Other Podcasts. 104? Was it Adventure Time? Oh, Adventure Time. I was thinking the Adventure Zone. I was like, I don't know if the Adventure Zone was out around yeah, that time. It's a, it's a very popular cartoon. I do know. I, I, I do. Uh, my brain just, like, misassociated. I do know what Adventure Time is. Oh, I haven't watched yeah. it, though. Uh, Kiron says, my boy, my only son. I just have to say I absolutely love this podcast. I found it a few months ago, and I am close to being all cut up now. Thank you all for making my days filled with laughter. I started listening to your show while I was recently laid off from work, and it really helped me stay positive through these difficult times. There was a period of my life when I didn't know what I could do next, and I lost all inspiration to even draw anymore. But I can safely say that you all helped me look on the brighter side of things as well as gain back my inspiration. Be on the lookout nice. for some sweet fan art coming your way. Thank you. Uh, Guys, we have 8,000. What 8, the shit? We got boobs. We got boobs. Oh, my oh God. God. Someone's going to wake up in the morning and be like, and be like oh, I God. Fucked up. Oh, God. I, what I, did got I do? Drunk and gave a lot of money to the I ACLU. I have regrets. Listen, Oops. listen, I can't eat, but somebody who didn't have rights will now have them. <laughs> they, yeah. got, they got those rights. And it said boob for a little bit. For a, so, a moment. <laughs> people are telling me I need to have a milk. No, I'm not going to milk anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, Tom, by Camilla Who. It's 2017. I'm sure listening. I am for sure listening to every single episode of this that exists. It's been uh, thinking about leaving a review for a while, and Tom's death sent me over the edge. Why didn't they kill Junpei? <laughs> Anyways, this podcast is a hoot and a half. It's definitely inspired me to have more fun with the RP part of playing D- D&D. Can't wait to continue to annoy other people in my life just by talking about this podcast for many more months before I catch up. You're doing the Lord. <clears throat> Thank you so much. You. Done. Broke my voice. Wow. Yeah, you're Oof. too. You sound rough, man. Yeah. <laughs> Another 11 or so hours, Tim. You can do it. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter or at GeekLink or at DD Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of Drunks and Dragons? Well, you can check out these other Geekly Ink shows, including Brute Force, Cast of Thrones, Cthulhu and Friends, Transformation Sequence, and Neuro Wizardary. Ugh. <laughs> you can also visit us, sorry, at geeklyink.com, where you can read the always updating content and check out some fan art by our talented community artists. Afterwards, make sure to head over to our shop and okay, buy some merchandise for your next adventuring quest. When you've finished expressing your love to Cheryl, head on over to iTunes to leave us a five-star rating and review. 
Want to do another listen through? Check out the D&D podcast abridged episodes available for download now. All the fun and a tenth of the time. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash D&D podcast, where you can donate a monthly amount to help us make this podcast better with each episode. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Whew. Wow. Thank you, everyone, so yeah. much. Uh, you guys got insanely generous in the last... Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's been generous all day, but yeah. it's... The, go- the, <laughs> the generosity for the sake of goofs is uh, it's mm-hmm. pretty pretty outstanding it's the best um, kind so thank you so much everybody we will be back soon um until then keep it dicey and let's stop an export let's stop an export so wait what did we start the stream what was it when we started like 52 or something yeah so it's gone off like jesus shit. yeah holy shit holy shit good job everybody nice job everybody yeah we did it I I really enjoyed those episodes. Me too. It's, yeah. Bobby, okay, well, you did such a good job. I like, literally was getting like really <laughs> emotional. I was like, what the fuck? I'm Definitely sad. Definitely one of those episodes where you kind of forget that you're in it and you just like just want to watch the Yeah, no, thing. me too. I was oh. just like and reacting on the Ooh. sidelines. I'm like, oh, I'm a character also. Yeah, it was so fun. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot. Nika, good, good, good job being sneaky. <laughs> Forcing it, yeah. You Everyone monster. in the chat was calling me a monster while I was trying to do that. <laughs> I was like, it's so good. That was honestly that was really good because I like wasn't I wasn't really sure like how to like bridge that gap and make the connection with Cheryl. So then I didn't have to, and it was awesome. <laughs> She's got your back, bro. This is two thirteen, um, right? Yes, yeah. two thirteen. Yeah. So thank Whew. you so much. Uh, the stream. Um, we're gonna say goodbye. Thank you, stream people. And then we're going to head on into the Sayer fiasco. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> you can do it, Tim. You got it, Tim. You. Yeah, I'll, be, um, I'll, but, be, I'll be back on it, it, you know, for the for the secret Hitler. And I want us to be at $1 million by the okay. time I get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's gonna really suck next year whenever we try to break this year. Yeah, record. I know. Yeah, this is that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very it's difficult to do. Um, I will have to say that we have some great news right now. The winner of the Red Dragon Inn Battle for Greyport, donated by Slugfest Games, is William Moore. You deserve it, man. You deserve it, <laughs> like for real. Yeah. Um. Oh, and when you when you do, it doesn't have to be right now. It's whenever. Um. Do definitely throw a third Christmas wine in there. Because okay. I have three bottles. Okay. okay. A third, Christmas wine and you're A gullet. third Christmas wine. You got Damn. it, buddy. All right. Damn. Well, well, thank you guys so much. I will see you all um, a little bit. Jennifer, uh, okay. are you staying see you up tomorrow morning. morning? What are you doing? Uh, I was going to be on the couch. Do you want okay. me, Do you want me to like bring you a coffee? Can I assist you <laughs> in some way? I need to walk around a little bit. Okay. Are so. you still wearing pants right now? Because I would not be. He's in the pants. He's no, I've been shorts. Pants. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Well, not pants, but sh- yeah, shorts. Yeah, gym shorts. His, his, I would have my his dick. His situation is out. covered. <laughs> Wait, um, are you wearing your Mac Weldon's? I am wearing my Mac Weldon's, yes. Thank yes. God. Thank yes. I am starting yes. to get a little balmy. A little well, it's just humid. It's humid in here. But, yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Awesome. And uh, Twitch, we are now uh, uh, more than halfway done. So uh, I'll see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. All right, see you, brother. <laughs> Gosh, I'm done for the night, but good night. <laughs> All right, Godspeed, Timothy. I'll check I'll in. I'll on Twitter. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Um, I guess I'm also piecing. Whew. Timmy, do you want me to bring you guys coffee or? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get some. You'll get some? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to get a walk around. Yeah. Holy dooly. Are we streaming? Yeah. Okay. Stretch my butt.